Yo, what's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday. We will be streaming later and we will have a couple of the reviews up on all the new players and a bit of a roundup of what is available today. But I do want to talk about a very, very quickly a new video or a new feature that has been talked about now, right? So we're going to get into it. So I'll do all these players in another video, as you know I will do with the training guides and we will be streaming later. But I want to actually check out something. Now, this was first made aware to me this morning before I was in, while I was still sleeping, uh, Lucas actually messaged in to the group in Discord. You can join our Discord if you want to uh, be in it as well. There is a link in the description below. But it is about this new message that is now on the Steam version of eFootball. And also, it is online on the official Konami website where they talk about an anti-cheat, okay? So... They say, please note that following V3.0, a Denuvu message window may appear when launching eFootball24. Please be sure that this is only an indication that the Denevo anti-cheat tool program has been installed or an update is being performed, okay? And then it says if you encounter any issues, blah, 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 blah. So, obviously, there's a, a lot of chatter about, you know, eFootball and its servers, dedicated servers, its free-to-play model, obviously. The biggest thing, I think, holding that back from it going from, you know, here to here is the fact that sometimes... The, the online performance does not match up. I mean, that has been one of my biggest complaints is that when the game flows for me and I'm able to enjoy it and play my game, I, I actually enjoy the core gameplay. Obviously, there's a lot of flaws, which we've covered over and over again, graphically, UI, all of that stuff. But in terms of the actual, you know, 1v1 gameplay, um, apart from, you know, the, the crazy defensive kind of nature of the game, which they've toned down a bit, and the fact that you can't really attack the goal in multiple ways like you could at the start of eFootball 22... And the fact that it's not that manual defensively. Other than that, I do like the core gameplay of where this game could go. And, you know, hearing about the things in eFootball 2024, which I have a video on as well, all the new info um, from the Malaysian event. I do feel like that, you know, online infrastructure and the ecosystem online needs to be it's super important for a free-to-play game right so i started to do a little bit of research obviously i've heard of uh, this anti-cheat before and it says that it, pre it prevents it protects sensitive game logic and data and detects cheating in games so that you can decide how you respond to cheaters so that's obviously for game developers that they're saying listen this is what we can offer your product this is what we can do now the more you kind of dig dig into it it talks about obviously the first message that came up was for pc for steam and windows it was for the pc version version of the game because obviously that has a big issue with people cracking games as in you could you know you can get a game like an offline game like say um i don't know pez 2018 or pez 2019 or um i don't know any other game resident evil any other game that you have there right that is on pc that you would crack it and people would be able to crack it and then share it obviously which is you know not not legal but this anti-temper and anti-cheat technology protect pc games from piracy and detect cheating but they also cover console mobile everything right so when you actually click on the console here and this loads in, they talk about supporting PS5, PS4, Xbox, Series S, and X, and the Switch, okay? So, this is what I like about it here, where they talk about the tech team has been extremely professional and proactively made their lightweight and adjustable mobile real-time protection work, even on the lowest in Android devices, and the team has been responsive and has taken action on figuring out solutions, profiled our solutions performance in our builds and the builds pipeline, highly recommended for any free-to-play multiplayer game developer wishing to avoid cheaters from ruining their game and business. So that's from the co-founder of Traplight Games. So they have been awarded cybersecurity, excellence awards, all that sort of stuff, right? They talk about anti-tamper, anti, you know, it's, it's basically DRM. That's what it is, digital rights management, that you're able to, um, you know, be able, to, you're able to add that extra protection to it, right? But for online, when you look at some of the games, right? Now, obviously, this hasn't been updated in a while, but you see FIFA 23 there, you see F122, Battlefield 2042, FIFA 22, uh, Just Dance for some reason. That's obviously more for... Um, that's more for the uh, piracy rather than online aspect of it, right? But it kind of make, makes the question and it begs the question, um, you know, how big of an issue is this within the game, right? I obviously play on PS5. There definitely has been an issue and there always was an issue in the older PES games. I would say PES 18 and 19 were the worst experiences for me in terms of people cheating as in what they used to do was when you would go a goal, goal ahead or whatever they would close the connection they would dashboard they would quit the match 
and sometimes it depended on who was server you could get the loss so you know it used to happen to me before quite a bit that you could be up 3-0 in the 80th minute somebody would dashboard or network man uh, tamper or whatever and then they, you'd get the loss so you would basically have an, not only have not sit there and cost you the game but even more important and more vital is that it was after costing you time you were sitting there playing a game for 10 minutes 15 minutes of your time and you were getting nothing for it. You were actually getting punished for doing everything right compared to somebody who's been a scumbag. So I do like this. I do think that it's a big a big sign of um, whether or not this is going to come in like they talk about it after V3.0. But I just said I'd highlight it, right? I'm obviously not that knowledgeable about Denuvu uh, because I don't do a lot of PC gaming and every game that I get is you know going to be on the PS5 more likely than not I do play a little bit of PC gaming um, and I do play obviously the Xbox as well for more of my single player games but I'd never really you know I don't really know anything about this apart from what they're telling us but is it a thumbs up or is it a thumbs down maybe we can talk about it a little bit more um in the game because obviously are in the future because obviously for a game like this for eFootball I think you know the, the the mobile version of the game is very important to get that right in terms of if they're going to be running that mobile game in right and this is just for mobile gamers obviously it doesn't really impact us uh console guys right but if you are running a mobile game um we don't want issues like what were happening the last day where you had players like 109 overall and all that sort of stuff. So let me know your thoughts on this. Anyone that's more knowledgeable than me on it, I just wanted to cover the news and kind of cover exactly what this was. Let me know what you guys think and we'll be back in a bit. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.